Hey, how's it going? My name is Shu. So, since it's a new year, it's a perfect time to set our goals, and having a good task management system is a great way to help us achieve them. For years, I've been using this app called Ampunote as a tool to organize my life and work, but I feel like it's not as recognized as it should be. So, I would like to share it with you guys in comparison to some of the best task apps out there, namely Todoist and TikTok. These guys have long been the go to apps for task management, but are they still the best options? Let's find out. So, Todoist has been a favorite among many people because of its straightforward interface and powerful functionalities. It offers a range of features that help you manage tasks with ease and mostly for free. With the new calendar mode, which is available to paid users, it gives you the ability to plan tasks more effectively. For me, this is the number one feature that I wished Todoist had, so it's really nice to see it finally. And you can now drag tasks onto the calendar and drop them to make your own schedule. With weekly and monthly layout, you can view your schedules from different perspectives. It's great for flexible planning to see both immediate deadlines and long-term goals. It's also capable to sync tasks with due dates and times directly to Google Calendar, which simplifies planning by integrating them with existing personal or professional schedules. Also, it works the other way around. You can see your events in external calendars in Todoist. But for those people who are managing more complex projects, the board view might make it easier to visualize and organize tasks. If you're a fan of Kanban apps like Trello, you will love this. And another great thing about Todoist is its extensive integration. It works with many other apps such as Evernote and Gmail, which makes your workflow smooth by connecting different tools into a sort of a cohesive system. Todoist has a, a template market as well for various purposes, um, such as goal planning, uh, social media scheduling, and uh, facilitating one on one meetings. Um, it can be time consuming to create those on your own. So, having access to pre made ones instantly is great. And one of my favorites is Todoist Quick Add, uh, which uses natural language processing, uh, letting you quickly input tasks on both desktop and mobile. So, simply type in a task like submit report by Friday at 3 p.m. and to do this we will automatically set the due date and time. Now, moving on to um, TikTok, I've always preferred TikTok to Todoist, to be honest, simply because it felt like a more a complete tool with features like Calendar, Habit Tracker, and Eisenhower Matrix. They haven't had a big update recently, um, as far as I know, maybe because it already has a, a lot of great features, but one of its new additions is its ability to display your task list and calendar in a single interface. This eliminates the need to switch between task and calendar view, making it even easier to plan your day. And what's more, TikTok offers multiple calendar views, including day, week, month, and uh, agenda views. This flexibility helps with both short-term and long-term planning and allows you to zoom in on uh, daily tasks or take a broader view of your month. So in terms of a calendar mode and how easy it is to build your schedule, I think TikTok has a, a, a much bigger advantage over Todoist. And also a unique feature of TikTok is its built-in habit tracker. You can keep track of your habits and schedule time for them directly in the calendar. This integration of habit building with task management can be very useful, especially for people who find it difficult to stick to a routine like me. TikTok also introduced timeline view, similar to what you can see in Notion. You can switch your task list to a, a Kanban board or timeline, making project planning more visual and intuitive. And another helpful feature is the Isaac Hour matrix, which helps sort tasks and identify important ones quickly. TikTok comes with lots of useful tools like these that help you make planning process more efficient and uh, more fun. Now, there is no denying that these tools are among the best task managers out there, especially with the new updates. But having tried both of them and lots of other apps, I always found myself returning to Ampronote. sounds and looks like just a note-taking app, but to be honest, its best strength is as a to-do app. Ampunote stands out by offering a, a blend of task management, note-taking, and calendar. There are many that try to do all these things, but most of them end up doing mediocre jobs at everything. But I find Ampunote does them all really well, which is why I keep coming back to it. You can not only manage your tasks, but also take notes with bidirectional links and build your schedule in the calendar mode. It has been my go-to tool for organizing my life and work, but they've been adding lots of new features recently as well. So their recent biggest update is the linked tasks. In many situations, 
sometimes tasks are related to one another. For example, there are often some that cannot be started unless you complete another one. Um, say you're hosting a, a dinner party and need to cook a meal. In this context, you cannot start cooking until you get the uh, ingredients. So what you can do here is to block the task, cook a meal for the dinner party until you finish get the ingredient for the dinner. It's kind of similar to waiting task in other tools. There are lots of similar situations like this in our lives. So having this feature is very handy. It helps trim down your task list so that it only includes the ones that are actionable now. Another way to link your tasks in Ampunoid is mirrored tasks, where a single task can appear in multiple spaces. This is also a very common situation where one task is a part of different projects. For example, I have a task to renew my passport, which belongs to my travel project but also it's important for my tax registration. Here, I can mirror the task to my tax node. This way, when I renew my passport and mark it complete in one of the nodes, it will also complete the task in the other node. It looks trivial, but I find it useful when planning multiple projects at once. And finally, there is goal task, where you can specify your long-term goals and prioritize the tasks that will help you achieve them. So, for instance, one of my goals is to relaunch my newsletter. In order to do that, I need to subscribe to a newsletter tool and import my email list. So I can specify relaunch my newsletter as a goal of this task, which will increase its task score. Um, I will get into this later, but this way, this to-do will show up near the top of my to-do list when I open it. So the task score sorting is actually something that makes Ampunote unique. It's calculated based on various factors, such as the priority of the task, its duration, and how many times the project node has been opened, whether it's linked to a goal task, and so on. This system helps you see the most important tasks always on top of your to-do list so they don't get lost in the clutter. And now, once you have your to-do list ready, you can use the calendar mode to create a schedule. I have my Ampu Note connected to my Google Calendar so I can see meetings and events along with my to-dos. Um, I really like that they are color-coded too. But if you want to create an event from Ampu Note, you can turn a task into event by pressing Command Enter. This will make it easier to understand your schedule at a glance, as well as to manage it all within this tool. But it's not just a, a to-do list and calendar, it also has a plugin library where you can customize your uh, experience like importing your book highlights from Readwise, um, AI chat, and Kanban board. And overall, I love the ease of being able to manage my notes, to dos, and the schedule from one place without switching apps and uh, multiple subscriptions. And of course, Ampunoid was a little bit tougher to get used to than some other tools, but once I did, it made my life a lot easier. So to summarize, each app has its own strengths. Todoist and TickTick might have simpler interfaces and less steep learning curves, which can be appealing to many users. However, Ampunoid offers more features, including a, a calendar for free. And once you become accustomed to Ampunoid interface, the level of task flexibility and uh, customization combined with having to-dos, notes, and the calendar in one place provides a comprehensive productivity solution. And it's also worth noting that Todoist and TickTick are about three or four times older than Ampunoid. And I'm very impressed by how quickly Ampunoid has been adding new features and updating. But you know, in the end, the choice between these apps depends on your specific needs and uh, preferences. If you're looking for a straightforward task manager, Todoist or TickTick might be your best bet. However, if you're looking for a more complete, comprehensive solution that combines task management, note-taking, and calendar with lots of customization options, Ampunoid could be the perfect fit. All right, thank you so much for watching till the end, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.